Yeah, winning the world title changed my cycling life, definitely. I think it gives you more confidence that you can win again because on the most important day, you proved it, you did it, you beat everyone else in the world. I realised a dream in 2015, I became world champion. Um, probably still the biggest achievement of my career and I still feel very proud of that moment. My name is Lizzie Dignan and I was world champion in 2015. I had a really untraditional um, introduction to cycling. I was talent spotted at school by a group of people who were looking for athletes to represent Great Britain at the Olympics. Um, so I wasn't from a cycling background, but I decided to have a go at this cycling trial. And from there, they, they noticed that I had a talent from cycling and I became part of a British cycling program. Women's cycling in the UK has always been a really strong sport, actually. Nicole Cook was a great champion, Emma Pooley was world time trial champion, Beryl Burton is a famous cyclist from my local region and um, she was world champion too. So um, yeah, women's cycling in the UK is a strong heritage. So we're on the start line then for the women's world championship, they're about to get under. I was really nervous on the start line because I was in a position where I knew I could win the world championships. Um, so. It was strange to go to a World Championships and really feel like it was my race to lose. I was in really good shape, confident about my physical strength, but um, I was alone. I didn't really have a very strong team, so I was, I was pretty nervous about the tactical aspect of the race. I knew that in the final there would be people who tried to um, break away, um, and I just had to make the choice not to hesitate. I had to be the first to react because I was alone and I was the favourite. So. Ronzini is still there, but Lizzie Armistead is on the front. She's going to go to the left-hand side of the road. On the wheel is Elisa Longaborghini, Anna van der Breggen, Megan Garnier, Emma Johansson, Pauline Fran Prevost, Yolanda Neff, Elena Amalusik. Lizzie Armistead's going to have to lead with some out. She clicks through the gear. 900 metres to go, I actually attacked, but it was always my plan to attack at 80%. I just needed to get rid of the real sprinters in the peloton. Bronzini was still there, Jolene Dorr was still there, and I wanted to make sure that they were they were dropped. That was my, my plan, not to try and attack solo and win. I really knew exactly how to execute it. The plan was to attack at 80%, reduce the peloton, and then, and then win the sprint from that group. Bronzini is still there. I took the peloton to one side of the road, just to the left-hand side, so I could control through my right hand side the vision and I could see when riders were going to start their move and I waited for I think Anna van der Breggen launch a sprint and I knew I was the fastest in that group so I just had to go from that moment. This is absolutely incredible they haven't even opened the sprint up yet. I really couldn't believe it I mean I'd prepared so well for the world championships for the race but I didn't prepare to win it like I didn't put my hands up in the air I didn't celebrate properly I was just kind of overwhelmed with what had just happened. Lizzie Armistead wins the world title for Great Britain. Anna van der Breggen is in second place. I think, honestly, relief went through my mind. And I wish that was different. I wish I could say that I was completely elated and that it was the best feeling ever. But it, at that moment, it was pure relief that I'd finally done it. Yeah, the rainbow is the most special thing in cycling. So, it's, yeah, it's a dream come true. She's won the World Cup back to back and she's... When you get to put on the jersey, I think that's something special. Like, other sports don't get that. You get a medal presented to you, but in cycling, you really have to pull that jersey on, zip it up, and, um, yeah, it's a special moment to know that it's yours for the, for the next year. For me, the Worlds are the pinnacle of cycling. I think we're really lucky in our sport that we have a World Championships every year. It means that every year you're focused um, and you have the biggest goal of all every season, which I think is um, pretty cool for a sport.